who do I think is ruining the reptile lobby? I'm going to talk about it in this video. I really hope that you come away with something positive from it. Because I don't really like to make these videos. I feel like maybe I make them once a year. I don't really want to make them. But sometimes I feel like I have to. So I'm going to. I really hope that you take something positive away from it. I said that already. But that's really what I hope. Because deep down, I really do believe that this community has the power to be the strongest community in the world when it comes to making positive change in the world. And it just makes me sad and angry when I feel like it's destroying itself. As much as I'm probably just going to be whining about stuff in here, I hope the end result is a positive one. We're a group of oddballs, weirdos, freaks, strangeoids, misfits. We love the seemingly unlovable. We care for the uncuddly, creepy, crawly creatures of this world and revere them as amazing and beautiful. We battle constantly, daily, hourly, against forces that seek to drive us apart and crush our dreams. And we'll get to what I think about what it is that's doing that, but first I have a couple of uh, cool snakes that shed out that I wanted to show you. One of our blood python holdbacks and one of our retics. Yeah, so hold on a sec. It's our little blood python girl hold back. We haven't named her yet, but she's super cool. I, I like to sandwich bad news. We've got bad news in this video, but I, I like to sandwich it between good news. That's kind of my style. So yeah, snakes, snakes first. Check it, fresh shed on our little matrix girl. She's still a little bit jumpy, but she's freaking cool, man. She's super cool. Look at you, Missy. She's starting to get that little, that little ridge. Woo! You see that little that little blood python back ridge that's that's happening? She's like, dude. Yeah, she was. If you guys remember, she was the most feisty of the entire clutch, which is kind of how she ended up being ended up being my holdback. Uh, but just fan flipping tastic, man. Look at that snake, dude. Woo! Yeah. Oh yeah, that's good stuff right there. Super good stuff. Oh oh oh. Oh, hmm. Look at that tongue shot too. Ooh, damn. Ooh, I'm a sucker. Okay, re uh, retick. Some of you guys may remember Smog, our sexy motley orange glow. Fresh shed just this morning, man. Look at that dude. Froopy loopy. Yeah, yeah. So, T positive uh, Mochino is kind of my favorite. Kind of my favorite. Is that what I said he was? Sexy motley orange glow. I'm sorry. He's not a mochino. He's an orange glow. But same difference. <laughs> anyway, the, but the T positive uh, motleys are my favorite type of thing. Gorgeous, gorgeous coloration. Fresh shed. Awesome looking snake, man. This guy is just fan flipping tastic. Here he comes. <laughs> Never gets old with snake stuff around here, man. The snakes just keep on shedding. The snakes just keep on hatching. We still got that clown clutch that has all shed out now, but I decided I'm gonna take the slow road and instead of just, oh, come on, air conditioning. I decided instead of just showing them right on camera, I wanna take the slow road and kinda get them eating first before even putting them out in the lights and whatnot. These last few clutches I hatched out, I showed a lot of stuff on camera before they were even eating. And it felt like there was a little bit of a harder chance, harder time getting them going on Frozen Thoughts. So I'm gonna give these guys their time and make sure they're eating nice and stuff before I actually show. Maybe have their second and second sheds before I even bring them out on camera. So just, just for fun, just a little test of my own lack of patience of showing you guys snakes. And you guys can wait though. It's not like they're going anywhere. The chairs, yeah. I'm, I'm hoping for the boys. I want the boys to be down here to hear what I'm gonna say when I say it. Other update, I completely forgot to mention. We had our first roaming reptiles show, and we had a birthday party out in Bakersfield. I had never been to Bakersfield before, uh, because I just haven't. I, I live here in California. I always just drive right past Bakersfield. Everybody I know from Bakersfield always says, "Oh, don't, don't waste your time going there because there's nothing." And you know, it didn't seem landscape-wise. Yeah, maybe not. But the people were awesome. The family was super cool. There was, uh, it was a little girl's fifth birthday party, and grandma seemed like she was not going to the snakes at first, but eventually she's like, actually, you know what? She sees all the kids playing with the snakes, and she's like, I want to get in there and, and hold that snake, too. And that was cool. And then there was a girl afterwards, after the show, I was, about, I was packed up, I was ready to leave, and she was telling me about how she had been 
wanting to hold the snakes, but it was a big fear of hers, and she she didn't want to jump right in there when everybody else was. So I took the snake back out, our biggest snake, and she held it by herself and, and got over that fear. And it was just so cool. Brandon told me that I was going to be really looking forward to doing these shows and that after I did one, I was going to want to do more and more and more. And he was 100% correct. Like, I'm, I just want to do more and more of these shows now just to watch people overcome that fear and just... It's, it's the little girl we have to thank for it. Little girl, um, it was her idea to have that type of birthday party. So it's the kids that are, you know, really interested in again the parents back in having these things happen. Uh, it's so cool, man, and it's such a good thing going on. And and then the trip in Canada beforehand, like hanging out with everybody. The last three videos, if you missed the Canada trip, you should go back and watch those. And that's what led me to this. Like I came back from Canada, I started scrolling down Facebook a little bit. I was like, oh man. And then I scroll a little bit more. I was like, oh, man. And I was like, w w boys, boys, you want to come sit with me? I wanted these guys to be in here to hear this because they're, they're an important part of our future, obviously. Um, so I, I battled with the idea of making a video of this for a while because, I, because of the idea of it. I need to say what I'm saying. You can sit, say, I just wanted you guys to hang out with me. But if, if you can not do kind of crazy stuff like yell in my ear when I'm trying to say it. Okay. But then um, we'll do a what do you know with you guys afterwards, okay? okay. All right. Okay. No, you don't want to? No, it's just going to be boring to sit here and do nothing. What, do you want to hold the snake or something? Yeah. Mr. Sexton, not only do we have your shirt on the chair, boys are holding your snakes, buddy, getting them their last little handle in before we send them out. Anyway, so, yeah, Facebook. I, I just... I follow people on Facebook. I unfollowed a bunch of people on Facebook these past this past week. Just because there's like all these posts, people selecting other people within the hobby and just wrecking them, making them look better. Not making them look bad, but just expressing their poor opinion of one single other person in the hobby and just putting it out on Facebook. And I... I I thought, you know, I'll just, I'll just get off Facebook completely. But I like to go on Facebook and keep track of all my friends and stuff. And I, I unfollow people if they're just being negative and whatnot because that, that affects my thing. And I want to try to keep this as positive as possible. And I spent the whole week debating whether or not to even talk about this because it, of the potential hypocrisy of, you know, complaining about people online, uh, on social media or whatever. And, and, but the thing is, I felt like it really needed to be said. And then as I was scrolling, I saw a couple different posts from both my buddy Malka and my friend Kim. And they, they don't even know each other, but there's posts right next to each other and what they both said. And they're here, they are right here. And after I saw that, I was like, you know what? I should just go ahead and make the video. Because as the week went on after Canada, every day I'd go there just to scroll and find some cool stuff. And again, it would be another person calling out another person in the hobby just because they didn't agree with the way they do things. And it's just like all this infighting and it's just dragging Daddy? me down. And I, what's going on, bud? It's glowing out my nails. You just gotta make sure you hold them real good, bud. So I'm, I'm, since I'm feeling super good about like doing all this, this outreach stuff, and I just I just wanted to encourage people to avoid doing that. Avoid just finding one other person in the community that you don't agree with and making a post about it on Facebook because it, it just hurts all of us in the end. It's a lose-lose. Okay. Eli, can you please hold on a second while I'm talking, bud? Please. Please. Maybe, I just wanted these guys to hear, but they, you know, it's, the kids, it's hard for them to stay quiet. You guys are doing a good job. Even <laughs> It's a lose, lose, lose situation. You think that, I don't know what people think. I don't know the thought process exactly of what goes through people's heads when they decide to do that. To call, single out a person and, and talk bad about them and publicly and not to the person's like, the best idea for me, I think, would be to contact that person directly. If you really care about what they're doing, if you really think that they're, what they're doing is wrong and you feel that strongly about it, I feel like you would reach out to that person personally and, and get to the bottom of what's going on and find some kind of solution so that we can come to a resolution that's positive and that helps everybody and helps the community. Instead of just railing them almost behind their back or without them really knowing, it does nothing good. Again, it's a lose-lose-lose because... You look like an asshole for doing it, trying to make the other person look bad. And when you're trying to make them look bad or talking bad about them, you're actually promoting them. I mean, the, I know the idea is like, this. look what this person's doing. It's not good. You are actually promoting that person. A lot of people that didn't know who that was maybe or their name, you're putting it out there for them to be like, 
look at this person and then they're gonna look because people are attracted to the negative stuff we already figured that out i guarantee this video has more views because of what i titled it just because of that fact people are like oh what's going on there you're promoting those people you think you're talking bad about them and you are but you're promoting them so it's a lose lose you're losing they're losing the whole community's losing and you just I would love for everybody to, that does that to reconsider what they're doing. This is the wrong type of attention to get. I mean, if it makes you feel good to get some attention, that that attention might feel good in a minute, and the people that are jumping on the post like a bandwagon, like, oh yeah, yeah, that person's horrible. Like, if what? shit really hits the fan and it comes to it, those people, everybody, 99% of people that talk like that online, they're just gonna tuck with their tails between their legs and go running off when it comes to real stuff in person, like, guaranteed. So just, just consider that. Just consider what I'm saying here. To, I don't want to be- Yes, Eli. No, this is it's No, it's not poop. You're fine, bud. Come on, guys. <laughs> you didn't say it's not poop, Eli. Uh, that's what it feels like. It feels like I'm trying to Frog. talk to children who are grown adults about this. But I, I don't want to come down oh, too hard. Like, it, we're not perfect. Oh, Nobody's I'm... perfect. None of us are perfect. I'm not perfect. I'm far from perfect. I got lots of stuff to work on my own, which is why... It took me a whole week to decide to actually go ahead and put this when I saw that thing that inspired me to go ahead and do it. Because instead of like just making a video right away, I, I went and I worked on myself. I was like, you know what? You can't tell other people working on themselves. You got to work on yourself. That's what it's about. Just do what you do. Do your do, do your best to do your best and that'll be the, the best thing for it. Yes, the frog is jumping up there. But I'm asking you guys to please stop talking to my ear while I'm doing this. Oh, good. <laughs> so, okay. Okay. Oh man. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> if you promise to be quiet for another minute and a half while I finish what I'm saying, yes, you can hold the frog after. Okay? 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 Okay. So just consider that. Consider that you're you're making yourself look bad while you're trying to make somebody else look bad and you're actually promoting the person that you're trying to look bad and the whole community is losing and becoming worse for it. We're attacking each other. There's people out there that want us to fail. AKA PETA, HSUS, they want us to go down. Can you imagine if Phil Goss spent his time going online looking for people that he thought were doing things wrong and blasting them online? Where would we be? US Ark would be... Pfft, it, just consider those things and please take something from this positive which is to make a change to be a better person on your own again my point was before i got so rudely interrupted was that instead of just making this video right away i went out and spent time working on myself you know getting making sure all the animals are good find little tweaks to make things better here exercising eating better getting myself back on track where i want to be with myself but then i realized that i really did need to say this and hopefully encourage people to stop this practice of singling out somebody in the hobby that you don't like and just making a public rant about them hoping to do I don't know what nothing good nothing good for the hobby at all so anyway I really hope that this is having an effect on people luckily we got a great group here on YouTube lots of people in the hobby now on YouTube making making stuff and, and being real showing cool stuff and positive stuff and like lifting the hobby in the direction where it could go which is to be Potentially the best group of people in the world making the best group effects of change in the world, teaching people to overcome their fears and helping people realize this is a great thing that we're doing here instead of this thing where we're like determined to just destroy each other from within. It's like we're doing PETA and HS's job for them. Pointing out all the bad stuff. <sighs> Anyway, if there wasn't, if it was only like one or two posts, I could have just unfollowed a couple people and dealt with it. I don't want to unfollow. I want to see what everybody's doing. I want to see your projects. And um, just to be clear, I'm not talking about like venting online. Venting is the whole thing. Like if you got things you got on your chest that you want to let off about like struggles of life, good. You, it helps sometimes. It helps a lot to get out there. That's what I'm doing right now. But singling out somebody else in the hobby and being like, this guy right here, look at what he's doing. He's an idiot. Stop it, please. Gosh. Oh my gosh. Guys, if... Did you guys pay attention to anything I was just saying? Yeah. Yeah. You did? What was I talking about? Gosh. I was talking about gosh? Yeah. Oh my. No, this this whole time when I was talking to the camera, did you guys pay attention to what I was saying? What I was I'm talking, talking about? about <laughs>
Hey Noah. Ooh. What do you know? Scrub pythons. Scrub pythons? You're gonna have to speak up, but I can't hear you. Scrub pythons! What about scrub pythons? That they are green and I have no idea why they're called scrub pythons, but their skills aren't that sharp like scrub oaks. And the snakes and they there there are a few of them in our snake room. They do this move called Buddy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and that's all I know. <laughs> hey, Eli. What? What do you know? I know. Frogs. What about frogs? That some are poisonous and they tend to jump and. That's all I know. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh man. What was I thinking? Okay, okay. I promised, I promised, I promised that we were going to sandwich that bad stuff that I had to <laughs> talk about. I needed to talk about in between good stuff. So let's finish the message I started at the beginning of this video. We're a group of oddballs, weirdos, freaks. Strangeoids, misfits. We love the seemingly unlovable. We care for uncuddly, creepy, crawly creatures of this world and revere them as amazing and beautiful. We battle constantly, daily, hourly against forces that seek to drive us apart. If we're gonna win this battle, we need to lift each other up, have each other's backs. We need to work together to show the outside world that this is a good way of life a good way to be, and in doing so, encourage future generations to join our world of Herbert culture. That's you. That's you. That's you. Did you just fart? That's you. Oh, that's my chair. <laughs> cool. Your daddy tried Isn't that super cool? Daddy tried to pet I'll lose it. He's just a little baby. Daddy? What's up? Can I pet the frog? Yeah, bud. 